Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. <laughs> We're going to go way back into the past, way back before the 2000s, 90s, um, before the 1900s and the 1800s and keep looking back until we reach the 1400s, um, the medi medieval period. Uh, there's a story that has caught my attention lately. A couple of weeks ago, we went to Tewkesbury for a reenactment of the Battle of Tewkesbury, and lots of people were dressed in medieval costumes, and we absolutely loved it. I'm just clearing my cards and my pendulum here. So the Battle of Tewkesbury was one of the battles of the Wars of the Roses, which lasted 32 years, and, and it was like a civil war in England. And it was a fight over who should rightly rule over England, and uh, the battle was between the Yorks and the Lanc Lancastrians. I'm just going to test my pendulum now because I have cleansed it. And I want to uh, ask it uh, which uh, direction is yes. As you can see on the board, it's vertical and no is horizontal. But um, I w I'm just asking right now which uh, direction, please, is yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and which direction is no, please? Okay, thank you. So we've cleared it and uh, let's get started with the story. Margaret of Anjou was born either the 23rd or 24th of March in 1430 in France. Not a lot is known of Margaret's childhood, but it included turbulent moments. When she was only a year old, her father was captured by the Duke of Burgundy and she spent most of her childhood with her mother and her paternal grandmother. They were very strong women and her mother, Isabel, was ruling Anjou during her husband's imprisonment. Margaret grew up around powerful women and she ended up being a powerful woman. This was very different than the England view of how women should act at the time. In 1414, then Margaret Anjou and Henry VI of England were engaged and William de la Pole, <laughs> he stood in proxy for the king. He was the Earl of Suffolk. That is Suffolk. S-U-F-F-O-L-K. <laughs> um, and in March of 1445, then Margaret turned 15. Then she was escorted to Rouen in France by Richard, the Duke of York, which was Henry the Sixth Lieutenant. And this was in Normandy and France. So Henry VI, he arranged for Margaret to arrive in a chariot covered in gold cloth drawn by six white horses. Um, this is how she was going to make her entrance. But at the time, Margaret was uh, struck by an illness and she was too sick to ride in the chariot. So Alice de la Pole um, of Suffolk took her place. Probably at Rouen, the ill Margaret met Cecily, the Duchess of York, and the children of her and the Duke of York. Margaret then sailed to England and landed at Portsmouth in April of 1445. She then traveled by water to Southampton and was serenaded on the way by seven trumpeters. <laughs> All of these portraits so far have been um, Margaret of Anjou. I guess, well, she was the Queen of England when, uh, or the Queen Consort, so she's, uh, Henry VI made sure she was uh, taken care of royally. <laughs> 
this couple was scandalous even back then. And this is in the medieval times, in the 1400s. <laughs> um, so, in 1498, it said that an Italian correspondent to the Duchess of Milan claimed that Henry disguised himself as a squire and he handed the queen a letter so he could observe her while he she was reading it. The scandal. <laughs> so, um, Henry the Sixth ascended to the throne as a baby. So until he was of age, the country was run by um, men uh, on his behalf, and this resulted in Henry the Sixth being very cowardly, um, molly coddled, I guess. Um, and Margaret of Anjou basically wore the trousers in the relationship. And he ended up uh, catatonic, apparently. <laughs> and she ended up ruling England. So, after eight years of marriage, Margaret ended up pregnant. And this is a baby scandal. <laughs> oh, goodness. So... Henry VI suffered complete mental breakdown. So, there is a question whether he was deeply depressed or was he schizophrenic. Um, apparently, he had lots of mental problems. I hope you've stayed with me. <laughs> um, so, he... Uh, he was catatonic. And then there's a baby scandal. And I will just include this little excerpt from uh, philippagregory.com. And, um, and we can follow along with uh, reading it. Okay, this is about Margaret of Anjou. And this is on philippagregory.com. And basically, it just tells about how uh, she grew up in France before her marriage to Henry VI. And um, the dowry was kind of like uh, Henry would give France back the land May, at May, May and Anjou. And then you have this uh, from the Guardian <laughs> about... Did he have a sex coach in his marriage bed? Um, he had problems back then, too. So, apparently, um, he had people watching them while they they were in, you know, uh, trying to have romantic relations. <laughs> but, apparently, he was too pious to even have sex because, uh, yeah, you couldn't... Um, he, he wouldn't do it or whatever because it was, like, not Christian. <laughs> You'll have to read the article. This is The Guardian. Um, and I, I just included that a little bit, uh, this article. And, uh, yeah, it goes on a little while. But I just included it so you guys could see it. I think this was back in... Uh, February of 2019 so it shouldn't be that hard to find the article okay let's go on to the the next bit this was kind of weird it's called love day procession and the duke of york and margaret was hand in hand while henry the sixth was on his own i don't know it's weird the next clip is from History Calling channel on YouTube, and I'll put the link in the description. Back in London, Edward's cousin, the Earl of Warwick, took an army and went to fight Margaret's forces. He brought King Henry with him, presumably hoping that his presence would disincline the Lancastrians from fighting and risking their monarch's life. This ploy failed, and in the Second Battle of St Albans on the 17th of February, Warwick was defeated and Margaret's forces freed her husband. Warwick fled to join up with Edward, and the Lancastrians continued on towards London. 
Unfortunately, this army, in need of supplies, stole and plundered from the locals as they made their way south. And when the stories of what they were doing reached the capital, its worried inhabitants locked the king and queen out of the city. With Edward's forces now bearing down on them, Henry and Margaret opted to make a retreat back to York. Edward entered the capital on the 26th of February and was proclaimed king on the 4th of March. Barely a fortnight after the victory at St Albans, Henry had been deposed and Margaret and their son along with him. While they remained in York, their forces tried desperately to take the crown back. At the Battle of Titan on the 29th of March 1461, the Lancastrians and Yorkists engaged in an almighty fight. We can't know the number of dead for sure, but the figure of 28,000 has been mentioned. When it was all over, the Yorks had won, and the ousted royal family fled into Scotland the next day. Margaret had never been in such a disastrous position. She was now an exiled queen, on the run, with a mentally fragile husband and a young son in tow. She was nothing if not a fighter though, and if you come back next week, I'll tell you what happened next. Well, yes, they had a baby scandal going on. Um, it was rumored that the king was incapable of fathering a child and that the baby was a result of an affair between Margaret and one of her favorites, Edmund Beaufort, the first Duke of Somerset, and James Butler, the Earl of Wiltshire. They were both named as possible fathers. There's no evidence to confirm this, and Henry accepted the boy as his own. And you can find that at philippagregory.com. Now, let's get on with the reading. So, we learned about Margaret of Anjou and Henry VI. Uh, maybe some of you will understand where I'm going with this now. I'd like to find out if there is any way possible that these characters were allegedly <laughs> past lives of Harry and Meghan. Uh, this is totally for entertainment only. It's allegedly and also educational purposes for uh, uh, helping you learn about the past. <laughs> so let's ask the pendulum some questions first. Okay, we determined that the pendulum knows that uh, vertical is yes. As you can see, that's yes. And horizontal is no. So let's get started and all of the following is for entertainment only. So is Margaret of Anjou a past life of Megan? Please. Oh my goodness, it does say yes. Wow. Okay, I guess we're on the right track then. <laughs> Um, let's ask about Harry. Is he in this story? Is Harry in this story? Harry's past life. Is he in this story? Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, is he, um, is Henry the sixth, uh, one of Harry's past lives? Henry the sixth. Is he one of Harry's past lives? Wow. Look at that. Yes. Wow, okay, and uh, do I go ahead and push it? <laughs> um, I just want to know as well, I mean, because it, it's funny that some of these um, characters have the same uh, title as some of the royal family today. So, um, is the Duke of York, Richard of York, a past life of Andrew? Was Andrew the Duke of York in the past as well? Wow, will you look at that? Yes. Wow. Well, you know, uh, one more crazy question. <laughs> um, Cecily Neville was married to the Duke of York back then. So, is Cecily Neville the Duchess of York? Um, a, a past life of Sarah, uh, Sarah Ferguson, a Duchess of York. Now, is, is, uh, Cecily Neville her, uh, 
the, her character in a past life. Wow. Wow. That says yes. And, um, wow, that's, uh, that's, that's kind of spooky, you know. And, um, to me, this is like, uh, are we reliving our past now? <laughs> you know, so, um, how do we get out of it? That's what I want to know. It's a crazy world. Uh, this is all for entertainment only, of course, as I said before. So, um, hmm, that's, that's really interesting. <laughs> uh, what else is interesting is, um, that Margaret of Anjou, well, she was very young when she married, uh, Henry the Sixth. She was very young. She was only she was like a teenager. She was 15, I think. And uh, a weird thing about it is um, she met the Duke of York before she ever met Henry. Isn't that funny? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, um, let's see about... Uh, let, let me see if I can come up with anything else with the pendulum. <laughs> Well, I guess I can't really, I don't really have any more questions. I, I really, those were the four questions I wanted to ask if, um, these, uh, these characters were, um, the past lives of those members of the royal family. So, wow, that's interesting. Um, let's go ahead. I've cleared, I've cleared the cards and... Um, let's see what they have to say in regards to our questions. What, um, what do they have to tell us? <laughs> I'm just going to make this a, a short read because, um, uh, I've got, I, I, I want to ask about Harry and Megan and maybe, uh, the Duke and Duchess of York as well. So that one came out. So <laughs> let's, um, I'm using the Thelema Tarot again. I, I like it. Back. I like it. I'll show you. In case you, uh, would like, to, would like it too. <laughs> I think you can get it on Amazon. That's what, um, that's where it was uh, last time when I, I ordered mine. Oops. They're slipping out of my hands. <laughs> I've already uh, cleared them too, so come on, come on, cards. So with Megan, Margaret of Anjou, is that one of her past lives? That's what the pendulum said. so awkward my hands aren't that big so it's hard to um it's really hard sometimes to shuffle these cards so. megan was she margaret of anjou please okay one more shuffle i feel I feel one more shuffle and, and maybe a, a cut. <laughs> All right. Megan, uh, was she Margaret of Anjou? Well, King of Wands. I would say that'd be a, a, a strong yes. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Uh, all them years ago. <laughs> The Emperor, wow. I would say definitely as she 
Wow. Wow. You know, the cards are, wow, that is, those were so strong. And look, the emperor, because when her husband, um, Henry the Sixth, uh, this is Margaret of Anjou, um, he was, he was catatonic for a year. I don't know why, I mean, that must have been like in a coma or something like that. He was, some people say he was in, um, uh, depression or something but she had to actually rule the country she had to rule england and she was she was up against the duke of york which was uh she was a very strong woman look look how strong he looks as well he ain't messing around and neither is he <laughs> these are the emperor and the king of wands um yeah definitely that fire energy and um the ten of pentacles i think this is uh there's loads of battlefield I th i'm trying to think if there's about 10 battlefields actually or there might be you know 10 battles of that um at that time so uh while while uh, he was out of commission, she had to be the queen. <laughs> she had to be the ruler. The, he, she had to be him, the emperor. So, wow, that was a um, that was a definite yes for Megan, <laughs> for uh, that she was uh, the queen. Um, sorry, <laughs> that she was Margaret of Anjou, and then this. In the past life, this is what she had to go through. And she was a very strong woman because, you know, of uh, her, she was surrounded by very strong women and in France. So she had to be, wow, that that's interesting. <laughs> okay, well, I, I wonder how Harry's uh, reading is going to turn out. <laughs> I mean, we've already we've already got the answer from the the pentacles. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is late and I am I've done uh research on this most of the day today and I was trying to um put the little video together with that um uh, the other you know using the others like history calling and stuff and wow it's just uh my my mind is uh not on it i guess what i was trying to say is the pendulum said that harry was actually henry the sixth and allegedly um harry isn't uh, I'll just say uh, mentally well sometimes <laughs> allegedly that's what people are saying but this is for entertainment only so uh, but um, Henry the sixth wasn't well so are they is are they just kind of stuck in a loop or something because um, this is kind of weird and that scandal that baby scandal that is weird too allegedly for entertainment purposes <laughs> so let's ask about uh, was harry henry the sixth one of his past lives okay one more Okay, I feel like they're ready now. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. I think because the the Six of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Page of Wands. Well, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> um the six of cups in reverse is like uh looking back 
to the way things used to be <laughs> or to your childhood or it could also be infertility or having trouble having children um well you know uh henry the sixth was supposedly not able to have children or um well there was that baby scandal uh where they thought that margaret had an affair with one of the favorites and got pregnant so um because also uh she had the baby when um when henry was whatever he was bedridden and if they say he was catatonic so um mm, uh wow that's kind of odd isn't it Is it you know they said that um well the ten of cups in reverse they and they said that Margaret uh, wore the pants in the family, or trousers, sorry. Um, and this could be, you know, the family, uh, the family isn't, um, no unity in the family. But, I mean, she was running the show while he was in sick, in his sick bed. <laughs> so, it just, I don't know, it's just, just that's, that's another, um, could be another indication <laughs> so I mean I about the wearing the trousers and it the similarities between Megan and and Margaret of Anjou you know it's a uh, kind of it's quite uh, similar <laughs> for entertainment only so um because I think she kind of wears the trousers now and, you know, uh, maybe pushes Harry around. They say she's a narcissist for entertainment only. Um, I don't know. I'm not a uh, psychiatrist or anything. <laughs> so, uh, but that's, uh, that's the second card to me that would say, yes, uh, he was actually Henry the Sixth. Okay, well, uh, let's see what uh, the Page of Wands says. So, um, that is the outcome. And he, he definitely was, this is Henry the, uh, Henry the Sixth. He was like a little boy, like, because he was the king when he was a child, when he was a baby. And all of his life, somebody else had to rule the country while he was growing up until he was of age. And then when, um, when she came along, <laughs> um, somebody else still had a running country because he was, he was too ill and so he was bedridden. He was, they say he was the weakest king that, um, England had ever known so I and if there's some similarities you know I would say uh yes with these cards I would say that um Henry the sixth is one of Harry's past lives <laughs> for entertainment only of course so um let's uh Let's check out the Duke and Duchess of York as well. Okay, the old Duke of York. Let's clear these of all old energies here. <laughs> um, the old Duke of York, Richard, Duke of York, and uh, uh, the pendulum said that Andrew, uh, the that the old Duke of York was Andrew's past life, one of them, and we'll see. Andrew, is this your past life? <laughs> Sorry, I keep bumping that. I'm using a different um, phone holder, whatever you call it, and I keep bumping it. <clears throat> was Duke of York, the old Duke of York. Was that uh, Andrew's past life? No. 
Here we go. Okay, I'm I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking that this is it. Okay, Andrew, come on, tell me. <laughs> okay. Usually the nine of swords upright would be no, but it's in reverse. And so, um, yes, Andrew, you are having this recurring problem <laughs> and it's just, just going to keep coming back. Um, it's like you're in a loop or something. You, every, every life that you have is going to be, you know, when you learn the lessons that you're supposed to learn, then you can move on. But until then, you're just stuck and you're going to continue the same kind of problems in each life. And the Three of Pentacles, um, that's like teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> um, you're, you're stuck with these other people that are in, you know, because the same the same situation the uh duke of york back then richard the duke of york and he had problems with uh margaret of anjou which apparently is megan you know you're going to continue to have these until um you get your eventually get your life straightened out and then the karma gets straightened out so um you're going to keep meeting these people in in each life so you got to break that cycle apparently um richard the duke of york was well he was facing a lot of um opposition of course uh he got he got um they caught him and well he lost his life so i um I think that the Empress is uh, saying like a lack of confidence, stuff like that. You, you know, this, to me, <laughs> you're just going to have to break the karma. The, and this is to Andrew, but um, this is for um, entertainment only. So maybe, maybe your next life, Andrew, uh, will break it. We'll break the cycle. Sorry, that's my other... Okay. Um, so, let's ask one last question about Sarah, the du Duchess of York. <laughs> and was she the... Was she the Duchess of York in the past? Was she Cecily Neville? Was... Oh, I can't... These are sticking together... <laughs> Was Sarah the Duchess of York in the past as well? It's kind of weird, isn't it? I mean, the pendulum said that they all were those characters. I mean, but every every lifetime you can change a different gender. So, it's kind of weird. Okay. Was Sarah the Duchess of York in the past? The pendulum said yes, so was she? Oh, <laughs> wow, that flew out of there. That flew out of there. I'll just put that over here. Cecily Neville. Was she Cecily Neville? Nine of Wands in reverse. That just flew out. So I'll go ahead and pick three more. That that's flown out though. Okay. Cecily Neville was Sarah. Cecily Neville. I need to. I feel like I need one more time. Oh, so slippery. <laughs> Okay, was Sarah actually Cecily Neville? 
Let's see. Ready? Look at Oh, the Ten of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Wands in reverse. The Page of Pentacles in reverse. And the Fool card. Okay. I think it is. Um, I really think that with the Ten of Wands in reverse... That because it's reversed, I think that the Ten of Wands, because it's like a burden card, that it would be no. And then in, in reverse, it would be yes. And you also had a burden because of your, uh, the Page of Pentacles. You had so many kids. <laughs> you had like eight kids back then. And this, this is the one that kind of tells me the fool. It's like, it's. She's going through a portal and um, like from one life to this life, you know, from one life to another. That's um, when I'm asking about past life. That's what I'm thinking. So, yes, Sarah, I think that you, you are and you, you might be, um, you might be nearing the end of your karma um, situation. Uh, the fool might be, you know, new beginnings for the, for your next life, you know. So maybe you're breaking the karma. So I, I this is for entertainment only. <laughs> so, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and the... Um, the other uh, videos, uh, the other parts of the video, and um, if you did, please let me know in the comments, and if you didn't, just please um, leave the video and then go into the next one, so, but I appreciate you all, thank you so much, and if you like my content, content, and if you liked this video, let me know if you want me to do more of these kind of things and um please subscribe like and share thank you